Enter the wonderful realm of the magical world of Disney, where each episode brings laughter, surprises, and touching moments. Get ready for a mix of emotions, from funny moments to surprising twists and heartwarming scenes. There are lots of interesting, surprising, and moving things to discover, so stay tuned. Do you have a favorite character or episode? Share your thoughts below. We want to hear about the moments that stuck with you from this beloved show. More fun facts and memorable moments from the magical world of Disney are on the way. Share your stories and memories in the comments below to keep the magic alive. The viewer asked about the stoppage of Walt Disney on the Disney Channel and expressed a longing for the part featuring the wonderful world of Disney. They recalled the castle in the background, the song When You Wish Upon a Star, and Tinkerbell with her wand. They want to know if there are DVDs or other ways to watch this favorite show. Now, looking at a bigger picture, let's talk about Walt Disney Presents. Walt Disney's first TV show started in 1954 in Disneyland, California. It continued in the 60s and 70s, showing Disney shorts and edited versions of movies. The series ended in the early 80s when VCRS became popular, and pay-per-view started on the old Disney Channel in 1983. Walt Disney Presents is considered a great show, especially in color as hinted by its lively theme. It gets a top rating of 10 stars. These reviews give us a peek into the fond memories and love for classic Disney TV shows, with a wish for easy access and preservation. The Magical World of Disney, starting in 1954, showcased various talented individuals. One notable figure was June Foray, born in 1917. In the 1940 census, she lived in Los Angeles, working as a radio artist in the entertainment field. Another contributor was Pat Crawley, a mother with Ed Hookstratton. They had two children, John Hookstratton and Anne Hookstratton Osher. Leslie Nielsen, also part of the series, rests at Evergreen Cemetery in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, with the humorous epitaph, Let Her Rip. These individuals added to the show's charm with their talents. They, along with others, played pivotal roles in the show's success. The TV series, first called Disneyland, and later The Magical World of Disney, started on ABC in 1954. Even though it was filmed in color, the episodes were shown in black and white until the mid-1960s when ABC switched to color. Each episode had themes like Fantasyland or Adventureland. When it moved to NBC in 1961, these themes were dropped. Some ABC episodes were rebroadcast on NBC still in color and have kept their colorful look on platforms like the Disney Channel and in theaters. Walt Disney, the creator of the series, passed away on the same day as Verna Felton, who voiced characters in six of his animated movies and a short film. Leslie Nielsen, known for later comedic roles, might have been one of the earliest fans of Star Trek. After the first episode aired in 1966, Nielsen praised the show through his connection to DC Fontana, the show's story editor. In summary, the move from ABC to NBC led to changes in themes, and the decision to film in color ensured the show still looks vibrant in later broadcasts and releases. Walt Disney passing on the same day as a voice talent collaborator adds a sad note to the series' history. Lastly, Nielsen's early admiration for Star Trek creates an interesting link between two well-known figures in entertainment. The magical world of Disney, which began in 1954, has interesting connections with well-known figures in entertainment. One important person is Slim Pickens, who Stanley Kubrick considered for the role of Dick Halloran in The Shining. Pickens declined the offer because of Kubrick's demanding style, as experienced during Dr. Strange Love or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb. The role was eventually played by Scatman Crothers. Walt Disney, a key person in the series, is revealed to be Marjorie Sewell's uncle. His influence in entertainment goes beyond the screen. Another connection is Robert Loggia, a graduate of the Stella Adler Studio of Acting, showing the series links to talented individuals in the field. These details provide insights into the personal and professional connections associated with the magical world of Disney, giving a glimpse into the network of relationships in the entertainment industry. In 1954, The Magical World of Disney debuted, featuring notable individuals who left their stamp on the show. Fess Parker, best known as Disney's Davy Crockett, is remembered for his role. His portrayal of the character connected with viewers, making him memorable. Another important figure is Tom Tryon, a graduate from Yale University with a degree in fine arts. His academic background added depth to the show, showcasing a diverse range of talents within the cast. The visionary behind the series, Walt Disney, holds a record of 59 Oscar nominations. His influence and contributions to the entertainment industry are evident in the long-lasting success of the show. 
These key figures, including Parker as Davy Crockett, Tryon with his academic background, and Disney with his numerous Oscar nominations, collectively contributed to the show's legacy. In summary, the show brought together a cast of individuals with diverse talents, from Parker's portrayal to Tryon's education, all under Disney's visionary leadership. The magical world of Disney started in 1954 and featured various talents, making a lasting impact. One of its notable graduates is Kurt Russell, who graduated from Thousand Oaks High School in California in 1969. He was voted best looking by his classmates, highlighting his charm. Leslie Nielsen, another well-known figure from the show, was dubbed the Lawrence Olivier of spoofs by film critic Roger Ebert. Nielsen's comedy skills and success in spoofs added to the show's comedic reputation. June Foray, a significant contributor to the animation industry, received a special honor from Asifa Hollywood. They created the June Foray Award in her honor, given annually to individuals who have positively influenced animation. These individuals, each bringing their unique talents, showcase the high level of skill associated with the show. The magical world of Disney provided a platform for them to display their abilities, leaving a lasting mark on the entertainment world. The wonderful world of Disney, starting in 1954, is an important part of TV history. Walt Disney, a good friend of Art Linklater, made this famous series happen. In 2001, the Flanders International Film Festival in Ghent, Belgium, honored Disney's memory in its film section. Disney's influence reached beyond TV. He was also Ron Miller's father-in-law. Ron Miller was married to Disney's daughter, Dean Disney. The long-lasting importance of the wonderful world of Disney shows Walt Disney's vision and how he affected entertainment. The magical world of Disney premiered in 1954 and showcased many talented individuals who left their mark on the entertainment world. One standout contributor was June Foray, who provided voices for various female characters in Looney Tunes and Mary Melody's cartoons for Warner Brothers, despite not always getting the credit she deserved. Brian Keith secured the lead role in Hardcastle and McCormick in 1983, beating three other actors for the part. In discussions with director John Carpenter about the character Macready in The Thing, Kurt Russell considered portraying him as a former Vietnam chopper pilot. The idea was to show Macready as someone who because of his wartime experiences, felt disconnected and more isolated than the other characters. However, this concept didn't make it into the final film. These examples highlight the diverse talents that contributed to the success of the magical world of Disney, going beyond just animation. Each person's unique roles and input have left a lasting impression on the entertainment landscape.